Hello everyone, welcome to a 4K tutorial to beginner's guide on how to Revit. In this video, we'll be taking a look at how to make a custom truss. So, let's get started. First, we're going to be making a simple house, much like what you see before you here in the 3D. Then, in the plan view, we'll be making a section cut out like so. Now, make sure that your section is facing the open area of your house. Right click on it, go to view. Here, let's just extend this a little bit. Or, go ahead and remove the crop view and the crop region. Okay, now, we go to annotate, go to detail, start off with the arc. That should be good enough. Let's move this a little bit up like so. And we'll draw a line. Make use of the pick line. Three more excess edges a little bit. All right. Now, with that done, go to your file. Go to new, new family. Now, it's in Imperial by default. You can use that if you want. So, go to the structural area and click the structural trusses. But for me, since I'm used in metric, I'll be going here in English, scrolling down, and going to structural trusses. You can use whatever one, whichever you're comfortable with. The only differences will be the measurement. Yours will be feet and inches, mine will be in millimeter. So, just click open. Okay, so make sure you have your level one truss family on the other side and your section on the other. Okay, so I forgot something on the last part. Here in your section view, make sure, and if it's possible, your interior dimensions could at least be more than 10,000 millimeters. Anything smaller than that will create an issue when we start doing our web bottom and top cords. So with that, here on your detail, press tab a couple of times until you see your full detail highlighted. Click on it, copy paste by pressing Ctrl C. Go back to your family of cross, paste here by pressing Ctrl V like so. And there you have it. Just click anywhere here, tab once more by using the move tool, click here the top corner and snap it here. There we go. Now, as you see, our truss length is at 2,500. And here in the section, we've got it at 1,100. Let's make it sure if we got it 11, sorry, I mean 11,000. If we got the same thing right here. Okay. Now, instead of moving the parametric reference line, go here in this icon, which is family types, scroll down, and change this to 11,000 instead. Okay, now with that, we can move on to the next step. Now, going to Create tab, you will see a couple of choices here. Top cord, bottom cord, and web. Let's first, stop, well, let's first start with the top cord. Use the Pick Line tool here and click your sketch. Next, we with the bottom cord, go for your arc. Now we'll be for the web. Let's start here in the middle line. Your outer webs. Make one here in the middle like so. Next, we'll be doing our diagonal ones. If it doesn't properly snap like so, it's kind of a bit difficult, but make do with it. Next here, going to your middle web like so then highlight the three of them and we'll be using the mirror tool which is this one there you have it now we've done our webs our bottom and top cord files the next step we'll be loading it to our Revit family sorry our Revit model load into project 
let's override my existing version from earlier. Now go to section, structure, look for cross icon, which is this one. And let's pick a plane. I'll be picking this face of the wall right here. Make sure that the highlight is on both edges, like so. There you have it. Now, uh, I think I've used family two. My family one would be the one that I used earlier. And family two is the one that we just did right now. So let's go ahead and click this one. Click here on the inner face of the wall. Yeah, I guess it's not allowing me. Instead, I'll use this one right here and extend it on the other face like so. There. Now, let's look at it in 3D. And there it is. Let me remove the old one. And there you have it. Now, usually, it will not be using this type of profile or beam. Depending on what you have, normally, it will be using this type, which is the universal beam. I guess that's about it. If I click apply, this is what you'll be having in your version. Now, to fix that, we'll be going to insert, load family. Now, just click back. Until you see this error right here. Now, again, depending on your version, you have three of these to, to choose from. I uh, usually always go for Revit 2018 database library because there, there's a lot of variety there. So I'll be using this one, but you can use any of the two or whichever version you have. It will hopefully be the same. So go to Revit 2018 or again, whatever you have, libraries. Uh, scroll down to mm, here. You can use Imperial again if it's up to you. I'll be using metric and look for, I can't remember. Usually, I think it's this one right here, hopefully. Nope, it's not that one. Give me a second. I think it's framing. Yes. Okay. Now, either choose concrete. No, of course, you're, you're not going to be using concrete for your truss. You're either using steel or wood, or maybe light gauge steel. I like wood. So from here, you can use a dimensional lumber. Take a look at the preview over here. But since, again, it's a small truss, I'll be using a glue lamp. I'll be using southern pine. OK, now if I press open, that should automatically load into my Revit. And if I click here like so, go to edit type. Here, in the analytical vertical, sorry, analytical vertical projection, make sure that it's center of beam instead of auto detect. And here, the framing type will be using the southern pine. So I'll be using these smaller dimensions, like so. Everything will be 76 by 140. And here will be center of beam. All right, that's it. So click apply. And OK. Now, this is what it should look like. Almost done. If you take a look at it, the webs are not conjoining together with the bottom of the top cord. To fix that, simply click on it, like so. And you will see this button right here, meaning it's pinned, so we can't change it. To make things a lot easier, just highlight this section right here. Go to Filter. Um, check none and the webs and click OK. Now go to unpin, which is this one right here. And you'll see this change of icons right there. Now we click them one by one like so. Hover your mouse like this and press tab a couple of times until you see one web being highlighted. Simply drag them like so. Now, simply do the same for the other webs so that it will look something like this. And there you have it.
Now, if you want to spread it out evenly on your roof, just go here in the top area. Let's turn this into a wireframe so we can see everything. Click your truss. Just copy it as much as you want, like so. Now, go back to realistic or textures. And there you have it. Let me just get rid of those lines to make it a little bit better. There you go. Now, we have made a custom truss from Revit. And that's it for this video. For questions and answers, sorry, for questions and suggestions, please do comment below. And if you enjoyed or find the tutorial helpful, do support me by liking and subscribing. I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much, guys.